So this video may get a little bit heated and I have to make sure I stay a little bit calm because I believe Harper's upstairs. So if I have any type of language in the, within this video, she probably will hear it. So I'm probably not going to bring it up to that level. But anytime I talk about this ecosystem dev team, it always gets to a heated level, a heated level of discussion that we end up having. So I've seen some people that are supporting what the dev team has done or plans to do. So we looked at what they've done in the past and what they plan to do with the overall burns right now. And it honestly, it's tiring, you know, viewing that and responding to it because it takes a lot of effort to respond to every single person that's like, you know, Matt and Clay and, and Shibburn and everybody else that's complaining about Shibirium should stop crying and bitching and moaning about this and, you know, kind of just support Shibirium overall. And I'm not saying I'm not supporting it. I support what they, what the structure is and what the structure was, you know, cause you look at what they've claimed to do with it and they claim to basically burn off as they hit a certain threshold. You hit a $25,000 threshold. They said, you know what? We will hit that burn button. That's all we have to do is hit the burn button and we will burn Shiba Inu. Well, come to find out they hit 25,000 and nobody knew about it. They didn't hit any burn button. They didn't do it. They didn't surprise anybody with any burns. They just hid it from people, right? Transparency was not there. Then it got to 75,000. And you know you see ship burn that comes out and goes, look, this pool is at higher than what they said the threshold would be. So if that pool is higher than that level, you should be seeing some Shiba Inu burns. So Claybro comes out with videos and uh, or and uh, tweets and stuff, and I put some some videos out or a couple of videos out after the fact, just trying to catch some traction on that because I feel like with that you have to push that they're not doing these burns because if you don't push, then they won't do it. It seems like they weren't looking to do it at all, right? So uh, Shibburn and Claybro uh, made this this content and, and all this stuff and or just putting out the information and Claybro actually retweeting it and you know it's catching a little bit of traction there. Um, so they finally decide to burn because the community is like, look, you need to, you need to burn, right? You guys need to burn 100%. If you uh, promise that you would see a 25,000 coin burn, then you need to burn, or sorry, $25,000 burn uh, for Shiba Inu, then you guys need to burn. Uh, so with that pressure, they ended up burning. It was 8.2 billion that ended up burning. A lot of people got hype. Even me, I'm like, this is a large burn. It's huge. It's it's massive. It makes sense why we would see this because they had 75,000 to, to do that with. Well, then they come out and say, now we don't want the pressure of hitting the burn button when the community tells us. Does that, is this not a community led ecosystem? Is this not supposed to be about the community? Like, is it supposed to be about the community or is it not? I don't understand. Is it decentralized or it's decentralized? Because if you state that you don't want the community to dictate this, then it is definitely 100% centralized in something that's supposed to be you know, decentralized. That makes no sense whatsoever. It's completely hypocritical. And it seems like that's the trend because a lot of things are hypocritical. And we'll get into that in a little bit. So they basically said, we don't want to, we don't want the community to dictate when we will hit the burn button. So they decide that, you know, they are going to hold on to this and then come up with a new plan on when they were going to do it. And they'll decide they'll do it whenever they want. Well, right now the pool is like above five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, that's that's not wrong. It's not only ten times; it's twenty times what the burn threshold is. <laughs> twenty times what the burn threshold is, and you're not you're still not burning. Like that makes us seem like you never wanted to hit the burn button, and you're not going to hit the burn button. Well, now it comes out that there's some sort of upgrade and change to the overall system, where now you may end up including bone within that burn and that adds to the hypocrisy because the dev team never never supported burns never wanted to support burns we see um so many burns that that happen within shiba inu and uh, within the community and they force their way into it saying that 
they don't care about burns and that burns aren't a big deal and that we shouldn't care about it. Anybody that mentions burns or if we can burn um, would get blocked. I got blocked for mentioning burns. People got blocked for asking about it. Like, hey, do you guys support burns? Instant block, instant ban. It's like, what? If you have any type of conversation on burns, you're banned. But now all of a sudden, because this 8.2 billion coin burn that goes through Shiba Inu looks like a great success, you guys want to now start burning bone even though you never supported it? Like the hypocrisy is is crazy. It's ridiculous. So now they're playing these childish games to where it seems like, uh, you know how when you were a kid and you had you were on a team or you were by yourself or whatever and you were gonna lose, you change up the rules to, to make you win, right? You wanna have fun, so you have everybody win, um, so you want to make sure that, you know, you end up changing up the rules. I was kind of watching Bluey with the kids and they were playing, uh, what was it? Shadowlands. Um, and basically they were changing up the rules in order to make things better. But then Bluey kept saying, and I know this, this is kind of giving you a, a different way, but, um, Bluey kept saying, you don't change the rules. You just have to go with the flow and try and function as normal, uh, even though it may go against you at times. Right. So I don't know if you guys have seen that episode, but um, this definitely applies. Uh, it's it's definitely something that works. But either way, you're playing these childish games to where you're trying to change the rules. And it makes no sense to me whatsoever why you're going to do that when you have so much support, when you could potentially have a lot of support for what you have within Bone, right? If you just burn SHIB and everything that you're doing, but no, it seems like they're trying to destroy Shiba Inu and create this bigger thing around what they've created, right? Things that they have the ability to change. So if you guys could, I would imagine that if you had the ability to do this, you would take all of the holders, the 1.3 million holders within SHIB and just place them over in Bone because you control Bone and it's less decentralized because Shiba Inu is decentralized. No one can change it. No one can adjust it. We are supporting it as a community. And anything that's built outside of it can support it. And you guys have stated that. But you have shown your lack of support for Shiba Inu over the years. And what's crazy is we have followed you every step of the way just because you've kind of hinted or promised to doing something for Shib. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And we are doing that. We continue to follow this team and think that they're not going to disappoint us, that maybe they'll change their ways. But no, it's all about bone. It's all about the things that they've created. And honestly, it's it's tiring. It really is. I'm not here bitching and moaning or um, you know, crying about the overall situation. I'm just trying to hold you guys accountable. Right? If you guys are deciding to burn or you wanted to decide to burn Shiba Inu $25,000, it seemed like you never thought that you would get there. And then now you're finding a back road in order to get there because you what you applied, it basically would have been multiple trillions or quadrillions of um, transactions that needed to happen in order to even see 25,000. And now that you have a back way of doing that with some form of manipulation in, in a way, uh, you can now get to that $25,000 threshold. But now that we see that you have that pool, we're pushing for you guys to burn, but it seemed like what you're trying to do, you were trying to hide it, not be as transparent and be able to have money for your back pocket. But we found it, right? Shib burn, found it. And now you guys are scrambling, trying to do something right for by the community, even though you probably didn't plan to do that anyways. You probably just planned to pocket that money because you wanted to find a, a back way of doing it. Honestly, this dev team is looking more scammy by the day. It seems like everything that they want is to drive money into Shitoshi's pockets, right? NFTs, cologne smelling books or whatever the hell that is. Um, you know, this and hiding this, it seems like that's what it's all about. And it's honestly not sitting well with me. But the community can continue to apply pressure. I don't know what they'll do. If they plan on doing something with it, if they're going to burn shib, if they're going to burn bone. But like I said, it's honestly very, very tiring that 
you have people that may be supporting what they're doing when in fact it looks like they are trying to scam people in a way out of, and it's not really out of their money. People are doing the transactions. It's just they're trying to hide money and capture that money for themselves rather than doing what they said they were going to do. And as that pool gets to a certain amount, you can burn Shiba Inu, but now it's above what, $500,000, maybe even more than that. And we're seeing no burns. The threshold was 25,000. All you're doing is lying. All you're doing is not being transparent. And that's what we're sitting on, right? Everything that we're talking about is not crying. It's valid. It's 100% valid because this is a community led. It should be, well, Shiba Inu is for any, uh, for that matter, is a community led token. Um, and the ecosystem should be also community supported, community led. However, it's proven every single day, everything that you create is about the central team. That's what it's all about. You guys don't control SHIB and it hurts you to know that you have no power over SHIB at all, over this ecosystem. What's crazy to me is that you have 3 million followers on Twitter and 90% of the things that you post are about the things that you create that are outside of SHIB that don't support SHIB. Shiba Inu, the, the Twitter account, should be about Shiba Inu. It shouldn't be about Bone because you want to know why? You have a Bone Twitter account. You have a Leash Twitter account. So why are you using Shiba Inu's Twitter account in order to push all of these other things when it should be about just Shiba Inu? What's happening for Shiba Inu? However, none of that is for Shiba Inu. It's about using it as a mascot and trying to funnel traffic to whatever the hell you have. It's honestly just very, very tiring. I don't know how many times I could say it, but it is. So guys, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I know this was just like a large rant, but it's it's definitely something that was needed. Um, and we'll continue with these. And I think we need to continue to apply pressure because it's showing me every day until they prove it that they're not just scammers that are trying to scam you out of your money to support what they have their money into. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.